You know what, this is taking too long. I think I'm just gonna skip reviewing tanks for the memories. After all, what's the worst that could happen? What the? Oh, Celeste! Sheesh, you skip reviewing one episode and everyone in the grammar is ready to burn you at the stake. Hello, Bass. Yeah, it's me. Listen, Bass, I'm gonna need your help with something. No, I don't need help getting rid of a body, but nice to know you're willing to help if that situation ever comes up. No, I need some disguises so I can go around town undetected. Come again? What do you mean they froze my accounts? So there's no way you can even send them to me? What should I do now? Just review another episode? Great idea, Bass. But seriously, there's nothing you can send me? There is? Okay, great. Anything would help in this situation. By the way, what is it? Is this a fake mustache? How is this gonna help me? Ahem. Uh, howdy there, Sheriff. Beautiful day, isn't it? Wow, who knew Appaloosans were so gullible? Might as well get started before they see through my disguise. Grab a new partner, here we go! The episode begins with Applejack and the CMC attending a rodeo in Appaloosa so that Applejack can fill in for their cousin Brayburn who's unable to participate in any of the events due to a broken leg and so the CMC can enjoy some of the festivities taking place there. However, it isn't long until we find out the real reason why the CMC wanted to come to the rodeo. Turns out they saw it as a perfect opportunity to try and earn their cutie marks which seems a little out of place given the fact that we just saw them learn two episodes ago that they shouldn't obsess over their cutie marks since they're only a small part of who they are. After a hilarious bit with Brayburn losing track of the girls, Apple Bloom asks if they can enter one of the events at the rodeo, but before Applejack can give them an answer, the hay bale tower she made earlier comes crashing down and almost crushes the CMC. It's later revealed at a town meeting that it was the work of a notorious outlaw known as Trouble Shoes, who's wanted for ruining all of the rodeos in Equestria. He knocked barrels every which way at the Hoof City Rodeo! Nearly crushed my Aunt Bay Mare! Bad enough! He sabotaged the steer pan at Pinto Creek Rodeo! He poisoned our water supplies, burned our crops, and delivered a plague onto our houses! Oh wait, I'm thinking of someone else. Carry on. So with Appaloosa being the last place in Equestria to still have a functioning rodeo, Applejack decides to send the Cutie Mark Crusaders back home, but Brayburn, not wanting her to drop out of the competition, offers to stay behind and watch over them. Y'all ain't leaving my sight. Three, two, one. Well that didn't last very long. Seeing this as a perfect opportunity to try and find troubleshoes, the CMC sneak out and begin their search for the notorious outlaw in some dense woods. Really? They're just gonna wander off into the woods by themselves to look for a dangerous criminal? Didn't either of them learn their lesson the last time they did something like this? Apparently not since they get lost halfway down the trail. So they manage to find Troubleshoes' hideout at the bottom of a hill, and to their surprise, he turns out to be nothing more than a big klutz with a deep passion for rodeos. Now here is where the episode gets interesting. Throughout his life, Troubleshoes has been under the impression that his cutie mark represents bad luck because it's an upside down horseshoe. But when he tells the CMC the story on how he got his cutie mark, it's revealed that he's been looking at his cutie mark one this whole time. What his cutie mark was actually representing was his talent in making ponies laugh through his clumsy performance. I have to say, this was a really interesting topic for the writers to tackle. When the show first started, it was basically centered around the idea that a pony wouldn't know what their special talent was before they got their cutie mark. But here, it's shown that it's actually possible to get a cutie mark and not know the meaning behind it. As Troubleshoes escorts the girls back home, they come up with an idea that he should become a rodeo clown instead of a rodeo star. But before they could tell him, he gets arrested and charged with an additional crime of kidnapping. Okay, this thing's starting to get itchy. 
The next day, they break him out of jail and manage to sneak him into the rodeo clown portion of the event, where at first he actually does a great job keeping the audience entertained. Even Applejack admits that he's a great rodeo clown. That is, until his true identity is revealed and everyone goes all angry mob on him. Yeah, that's the problem with some disguises, though not as good as others. Hey, aren't you the guy on the wanted poster? No, no, uh, of course not. But it looks just like you. Um, no, no, lo siento, no hablo ingles. Oh, sorry about that, sir. Carry on. Gay idiota. The CMC quickly step in and manage to convince everyone that Troubleshoes is a good guy and the episode ends with the trio learning their lesson and receiving the proper punishment for their actions. And that's Appaloosa's Most Wanted. So, what did I think about it? Well, to be honest, it was good, but there were some moments in the episode that kept it from being perfect. For starters, I love that we got to see more of Appaloosa in this episode as it's one of my favorite locations in Equestria. The background designs and western outfits for the ponies were a lot better here than they were in Over a Barrel. The comedy I thought was great and was arguably one of the best parts of the episode. Each character had some hilarious moments, but the one that had the best moments was Troubleshoes. Seriously, this guy was just destined to make people laugh. Now, Troubleshoes is a very interesting character in both design and personality, but what was really interesting about him was his conflict. I mean, the fact that a pony could misinterpret his or her cutie mark to the point that they end up living a life of misery and isolation is a really tragic story to think about. I have to say, I'm really liking the new episode ideas the writers are coming up with this season. With that said, here are my main concerns with the episode. In terms of execution, this story I thought was one of the weakest so far. And even with some of its good qualities, it wasn't enough to make the episode any more memorable. Also, as much as I like Brayburn as a character, there really wasn't any reason to have him in the episode other than for plot convenience. But my biggest problem with the episode was its portrayal of the CMC. So far they have had some really great episodes with a ton of character development, but here it was like they just lost all of that in this one episode. I mean, they were constantly talking about trying to earn their cutie marks, they disobeyed orders and wandered off into the woods by themselves. And they withheld information that could have saved Troubleshoes right then and there, but they didn't say anything because of fear that they would get in trouble. And while I love that they were the ones to help Troubleshoes realize his true passion in life, it was still a terrible move for the writers to make, and is what kept this episode from being perfect. And for that reason, this episode receives a blue thumb. It wasn't good, it wasn't bad, but was it something worth raving about? Maybe. Until next time, I'm Blue Wave and I'll catch you later. Ahem. Oh snap, I just gave myself a wave, didn't I? Yep. Well, like I said before, catch you later. Raise this barn, raise this barn, one, two, three, four, together we can raise this barn, one, two, three, four, up, 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 go the beams, hammer those joints, work in teams, turn them around quick by the right elbow, grab a new partner, here we go. Go, go, go.